Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a comic strip in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Comics are a fun use case for Doodly videos. The drawing hand really lends itself to this format, and it's fun to watch as each panel is drawn. However, I really don't see too many of them, so making your own doodly comic strip could set you apart from your competition. Perhaps it looks hard to create, but really it's not difficult at all. So today I thought I'd show you how to do it. Here's the concept that I have in mind. Let's call it The Working Dead. So The Working Dead follows the adventures of a group of office workers who are trying to survive during the zombie pandemic and blah, blah, blah. So I have the script and I'm gonna use it to create my comic strip. So where do we start? Well, you wanna start with the panels, right? That's kind of your foundation for the drawings. So we need to do the panels first, and there's a couple ways that we can do them. In this example, I think a one page comic strip with three panels should do the trick. Now you can create the background yourself, or you could get one from a stock photo site they have tons of comic book panels. But in this example, I would like to use simple shapes to create my own, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I already created. So here is the creation that I made. Um, I've got Andrew, Adam, Andrew, and Nami. They're discussing whether they should work while there's an outbreak happening outside their building. And you'll see there's three panels and then they talk, okay, we should have a meeting about this. I agree. Well, meanwhile, Nami is too busy fighting off the zombies to answer. And that's it, okay? That's my entire comic strip. These three panels, they're just squares and rectangles. That's all they are. So if you can work with a square or a rectangle, you can make a comic strip in Doodly. Now, I created these squares and rectangles just in a graphics design program. Super easy to do. You just pick the shape tool and you make it set so there's no fill, so it's empty and it has just a black outline. And you make your square or rectangle and then you export it as a PNG file. And then you bring it into Doodly just like you would any other graphic and then just place them into your scene. So I've got a new scene here. If I wanted to do that, I go to props and I'm gonna search for square, okay? Because I know I have squares. And Doodly even has some already. So if you aren't comfortable making your own, you could use some that come in with Doodly. So here's an enterprise square and that would work just as well as the one that I created, okay? And then rectangles. Again, here's a doodly created one. And then I think some of these are mine that I brought in myself. So it just kind of depends if you're happy with the aspect ratio of the ones provided by doodly, then by all means use those. And then you just size them. That one looks good, and then I'll just duplicate it. Paste. And maybe I need to shrink them down together. And then see, something like that would be really nice. If I control click, I group them, and then I can resize them together. And I think probably the reason why I made my own rectangles and squares was because you'll see the line thickness is different on these doodly created ones. So that's probably why I did it. I did it like a year ago, so I don't remember exactly. But that's how you would create the panels. And then you just simply bring in your characters. Let's find a character. Here's Adam. This is the one I had of him just being scared here. And you just place your characters into the scene. Very simple. Now the only other thing I wanted to go over in this video was how I got 
Let's see, let's go back. My zombie climbing through the window. Now, this is a doodly character, so if I search for zombie, here's the one I used, and here's my cropped one. So yes, I did crop it, okay? So how did I do that? How did I crop it? It's really simple. Create a blank scene and drag in your character. And resize him so he's large so that you get a nice clean copy. Now in this case, I know I don't want his legs, so it doesn't matter if I chop off his legs. Something like that is, is fine. Now, you're going to need to do a screenshot, so go ahead and do that. So on a Mac, I'm going to hit Shift-Command-4. On Windows, you'll just use your print screen key, it's right on your keyboard, and that'll make a quick screenshot for you. And I'm just going to do it how I want him to appear. And that's it. I needed to do a little bit more editing because it made it a screenshot as a JPEG and I needed the PNG screenshot that has the transparency. So I have to do that in a third party graphics editing program. So I use Pixelmator Pro, but they even have online tools that you can use that are free to remove backgrounds that'll do the trick. So I'm just gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna go into Pixelmator Pro with my screenshot. In this case, I'm just going to drag it down onto my icon. And here he is. So what I want to do is take my dropper tool, which you can't see because of the position. So let's move that over. There we go. So my little dropper tool, and I just click in there and it automatically selects it. And I hit delete and that deletes the background. And that's all I need to do. So all I have to do from here is export it as a PNG. So I go to File, Export, give it a name, Zombie, and make sure it's in PNG, which it is, and click Export. And so now we go back to our little scene here. This is my guy, and you'll see he is transparent. So there's no square of white surrounding him, which would otherwise cover up these things. And then I just placed him strategically in the window. So it looks like he's climbing through it. And that's the basics of creating a comic strip in Doodly. Thanks for watching.